Hey everyone, I'm Chet Morris with the Charleston County Parks. This morning I'm coming to you from Folly Beach County Park on the southern end of Folly Island. This is certainly one of my favorite beaches in all of the South Carolina low country. The sun's out, the weather is perfect. No place I'd rather be than with my toes in the sand right here. Now as the weather warms up and the days start to get a little bit longer, these beaches and barrier islands in the South Carolina low country are some of our favorite habitats to come and visit. It's also important to remember that during these exact same warm months, some of our favorite low country plants and animals are also thriving in this natural green space. What I thought I would do today is share a few tips that I like to think about before I come out to one of these natural spaces that's gonna greatly increase my safety and enjoyment while I'm here inside the park and on the beach, but also help care for the green space, care for the natural habitat that's surrounding us. So if you have a few minutes, come along with me. We'll take a quick walk through the park, learn a few important tips, and hopefully this will better prepare you for your next trip to one of our beach parks. Okay, so here we are on the boardwalk about to cross over the dunes onto the front beach. And it's so important to remember that a successful and enjoyable trip to the beach starts before you ever even get here. Ahead of a trip to the beach, whether I'm coming for two hours or a full day, there's a few things that I'm always checking off my list. Number one, I wanna make sure I know the weather forecast for the whole day. I wanna know if there's any heat advisories that are on. Uh, also, if there's any storms that they're expecting for the day. I'm gonna bring proper clothing. Even though I'm here to suntan and swim, I wanna make sure that I'm protected from the sun and the elements as much as I can. That includes a hat, sunglasses, proper shirt and pants or shorts, and even footwear for when the sand gets hot when I'm exiting the beach. Uh, thirdly, if I'm bringing food out here, beaches are fairly windy places, so I want to make sure to pack the right kinds of foods and avoid bringing lots of wrappers to the beach that are going to blow off and blow all over the beach and, and create litter. So that's something that you can think ahead about. Finally, if I'm bringing one of my pets to the beach today, I want to make sure I know which beach I'm going to and the local leash laws. A lot of places in the South Carolina low country are different at each beach. It's important to know ahead of time uh, what the local leash laws are in your area. So let's head on down to the sand. We'll learn about a couple of things uh, that we can do to, uh, to enjoy our time on the beach. All right, I'm down here in the sand now, about to start my beach day, and there's just a few things that I always want to remember that's gonna kind of maximize my comfort and safety while I'm out here, and look out for the animals that are using this habitat as valuable shelter and even nesting space. Uh, when I'm down here on the front beach, you can see the boardwalk behind me. I never enter the beach without using a public access or boardwalk. These are built to cross over or through dunes without causing much impact. The dunes that you see behind me are some of the only areas on the beach where vegetation grows. This offers very valuable habitat and even nesting habitat for some of our favorite low country species like the loggerhead sea turtle. Staying out of the dunes is not only a good idea, it's actually the law any South Carolina beach you go to. Uh, they're not places for people. A rule that I like to remember is just to stay as close to the water as possible. That's less distance that I have to walk to go take a swim and cool off. There's a lot of good wildlife on our South Carolina beaches, and it's important to remember that we can always observe this wildlife from a distance and learn something from it. But just like anywhere else, you should never approach, harass, or certainly feed any wildlife that's out here. There's more than enough natural food found in this habitat to support the animals that live out here. Finally, if you do see an animal that appears sick or injured or is harassing or threatening you in any way, simply report it to one of our park staff. We have a very thorough wildlife conflict policy that all of our park staff are trained in. So let's move down to the water and see what we can find down there. All right, now in the water here in the swash zone where I'm standing and the surf zone a little further out where the waves are breaking, these are both very active areas of the beach where lots of wildlife is found. We can't always see it, but a lot of it is there just under the water. 
Almost all of these species cause us no harm whatsoever, but there are a few species that live on the South Carolina coast, like crabs and jellyfish and very occasionally stingrays, that can cause us a little bit of discomfort. It's really easy. Number one, if I ever see a wild animal uh, in its natural habitat, it's just a rule for me never to approach, harass, or feed that animal whatsoever. Observe it from a safe distance, let it have its space, and learn something from it. If you do come across an animal uh, like a crab or a jellyfish, certainly never handle these animals. And when you're out in the water, it's very easy to drag your feet through the sand ahead of where you're walking. Lots of these animals live just on the surface or under the surface, and if they feel you coming, they will gladly move out of your way. Okay, I'm here with the kindergarten class from Murray Lassane Elementary, and we're gonna show you a little dance that we learned. How do we avoid pinches and stings in the water? The stingray shuffle. Let's do it. I really enjoyed our time on the beach. Hard to have a bad time out here at Folly. Just remember that when you come out to these beaches that we enjoy so much during the summertime, we're also entering into habitat that is very valuable for some of our favorite low country species of plants and animals. Plenty of beach to enjoy yourselves and watch out for the things that live here year round. Come on out, enjoy, have fun at one of our beach parks, and we hope to see you real soon this summer.